Hello everybody here, it's Mike Les with another video and today I am going to show you how to calibrate a transmission on a versatile four-wheel drive tractor with the CAT PowerShift transmission. Uh, today we're going to be doing this on a Delta Track 500 which has the Caterpillar TA22 which is a 16 speed by 4 full power shift transmission manufactured in Peoria, Illinois. To start the calibration, we have to get the oil up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit. And the best way to do that is we're going to throw a tarp over the front. And we're going to take the tractor out and warm it up. So right now I'm up to 87 degrees. i got to get up to 149. Uh, I also get my CAT ET tool is what I need to calibrate this transmission. And that is available through Caterpillar. And it also has a subscription. So the CAT is... The CAT ET tool is just a data link communicator between the transmission ECM and the program on my computer, which is also from CAT. And there is an annual subscription fee to do this. So we're going to go ahead and got the program on my computer. I've had this tool for many years, and I'm going to plug it into the back of the tractor. We do have three diagnostic ports back here. The top one is, is a Versatile. The uh, one I'm pointing to right now, that is the CAT transmission and the one below it is actually for the Cummins engine. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to plug into the transmission port and push it on and you can turn it and lock it and then follow it up and there's a USB that will go into the my laptop computer and go ahead and plug that in and turn the computer on and find my uh, link for CAD ET, double click on that, it'll ask me a couple questions, tell, me, tell you how many days you have left in your uh, subscription, and then you get to the service part. So I have to get the oil up to 149 degrees to get into calibration. The program will not let you into calibration uh, unless the oil is at a minimum of 149 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So the best way to warm the tractor up is to get in an open area and shuttle shift the tractor back and forth from forward five to reverse two. Just do this back and forth with the tarp over the front and you'll get the oil warmed up in no time. And like I said, I like to do this away from everybody. Uh, that way nobody comes up, tries to jump on the tractor. and Because it will, once you stop moving, it will cool down awful fast. It's uh, sometimes a chore. Today it's about 40 degrees out and... It's tough to do a calibration when it gets uh, cold. Ideally, about a 75 degree day is the, the best. You start getting up too warm, uh, like a 95, 100 degree day, and then you heat the transmission up so fast during calibration, it'll kick you out for being over temp. So play around here for about uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes, shuttle shifting this back and forth. I got my computer turned on, and just get this oil up to 149 degrees. And on a 40 degree day like this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I can get into calibration at 149, but the first couple clutches, the oil actually cools down pretty fast. And this program will let you get down to 138 degrees Fahrenheit once you're in calibration. And if you get any colder than that, it'll kick you out. So I'm going to take the oil clear up today to 158 degrees and start the calibration because I know it's going to cool down fast through the first, uh, four or five clutches and then once you hit like the fifth clutch then it starts warming back up during calibration so it's a it's a tricky process i've done a lot of these and just learn as you go so here we are we're at 156 degrees so we're gonna i got my computer turned on i'm ready to go here and i'm in the screen for calibration and it's going to tell you so you got to stop the tractor you got to have it full throttle and the part brake as tight as you can get it and we're going to go down here in the corner. You can't see this real good, but I hit the start button and it started calibration. So you can see the oil is 158 and we are now calibrating clutch one. It takes about a minute and a half uh, per clutch. There's nine clutches in the transmission. And what this is going to do, it's going to set here and, and uh, say it's calibrating clutch one. And you're going to hear... Sounds like almost purging air out of the clutches, and then it jumps to the next clutch, clutch two. Now we're at clutch three, and you can see the oil's already cooled down about nine degrees going to clutch three. And all of a sudden, here we are now, we're clutch four, we're down to 147. 
degrees. So you really got to watch on a cool day because, like I said, if we get down to 138, it's going to kick me out of calibration for being too cold. Now it goes from it does clutch one, two, three, four. Then it goes to clutch nine. It jumps up and does clutch nine. Now the oil usually starts warming back up a little bit. Okay, now we're at clutch eight. Then we're going to go to clutch five, six, and seven. And when you're all done, you'll see the screen here. Uh, we're now at clutch eight again. Okay, should be switching here. Okay, now clutch five. So now it's going to do clutches five, six, and seven. And when it gets done, when you're on the seventh clutch, the last clutch, then you're either going to get a screen that says you had a successful calibration or if something went wrong, it'll say failed. So we are going to get a screen coming up here, clutch five. Let me just wait here. i got to be patient, I guess. Uh, the thing is, like on a, if it was a real hot summer day, like uh, 95, 100 degrees, what actually happens is I'd have to get out of the tractor and run up and pull the tarp off the front because it'll go over temp and it never fails. You get down to about your last two clutches and you only need a couple more minutes and that oil hits 160 degrees and you get kicked out of calibration for over temp. And there's has, has actually been times on real hot days where you have to get somebody to spray a water hose on the transmission cooler to get through the calibration. So ideally, I really try to do these uh, when it's a little bit cooler, up to about 75 degrees. Seems to work pretty good. So right now, just waiting for it to go through the process. Okay, here we are, clutch seven. So this is the last clutch of the nine we're doing. And you can see our oil's warm back up a little bit. It's 153 degrees, so I really have no worries here. I still got the tarp on the front. And I'm feeling pretty safe that this will complete successfully or I'll have a successful calibration here. So there it's kind of cooling back down a little bit. It's bouncing back and forth between 153, 151. And just waiting for it to pop up here. And you should see it real soon. Come on. There we go. Calibration successful. So you can just hit finish and you're good to go. So the procedure is the same for all versatile four wheel drive tractors. The 450 on up through all the big ones uses the CAT TA22 transmission and the smaller versatiles, the 350, 375 and the 400 use the CAT TA19 transmission which calibration is still done the same using the CAT ET tool. Uh, some of the clutch configurations as far as the order of calibration are a little different, but it's the same procedure as far as getting your oil warmed up and going through the process. And it's a, it's a pretty nice tool. I, uh, I really like the CAD ET tool. It does a lot of good things and helps you see the history of the transmission and everything. So I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.